Let's find the cube root of this quadratic sword. Step number one. Write down the quadratic sword and take the cube root according to the question. Step number two. This first term has no square root with it, but the second term has a square root inside this cube root. We're going to consider among the four conditions. This first one will give us x plus the square root of y when this first term has no square root with a plus inclusive. And here we're going to have that our answer is x plus the square root of y. We're going to solve this and the value of our x and y we're going to substitute here and that becomes our answer. And this to the power of 1 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root. Next, recall that if you have the square root of a is b. a will be b to the power of 2 because square root on the other side becomes squared. Also, if you have the cube root of a and here you have b, this is the same as a to the power of 1 over 3 is b and our a is b to the power of 3. I will apply this to this question. That is, this cube root on the other side will become to the power of 3. Next, this to the power of 3 means we are going to open this bracket 3 times. Next, we are going to expand this bracket by distribution. That is, x times x will give you x squared. x times the square root of y will give you x multiplied by the square root of y. Next, the square root of y multiplied by x. We're going to have x multiplied by the square root of y. Next, the square root of y will multiply the square root of y. And we're going to have y. And this will multiply this, which is x plus the square root of y. And we close this bracket. Next, here we have x squared plus this and this will give you 2x multiplied by the square root of y plus y. And this will multiply this. Next, x to the power of 2 will multiply x. And we're going to have x to the power of 3. Next, x to the power of 2 we multiply the square root of y. And we're going to have x to the power of 2, the square root of y. This is done. Next, 2x multiplied by the square root of y, multiplied by x. We're going to have 2x squared multiplied by the square root of y. Next, 2x, the square root of y, will multiply the square root of y and we're going to have 2x y next y will multiply x and we're going to have y x or x y next y will multiply the square root of y and we're going to have plus y multiply by the square root of y next we have the square root of y here, we have the square root of y here, and we equally have the square root of y here. We are going to bring them together. This is x to the power of 3. This is 2xy plus xy. We are going to have 3xy. Next, this is x squared multiplied by the square root of y. And this is 2x squared multiplied by the square root of y. This is 1 
and this is 2. We are going to have 3x squared multiplied by the square root of y. Next, we have plus y multiplied by the square root of y. Next, we can write this as x to the power of 3 plus 3xy plus the square root of y and the square root of y is common. I will have the square root of y in the brackets. I will have 3x squared plus y. This times this will give you this. And this times this will give you this. We have expanded this bracket and we got this. That means I will move all this to this position. To be able to solve the cube root of a quadratic sword, you must learn how to expand this bracket. Next, I will compare both sides. 37 has no square root. I will compare it with x to the power of 3 plus 3xy. Next, I will compare 30 root 3 with this part because this has a square root and this also have a square root. That is, I will have 37 is equal to x to the power of 3 plus 3xy. I will call this equation 1. Next, I will have that 30 multiplied by the square root of 3 is equal to the square root of y in brackets 3x squared plus y. I will call this equation 2. Next, equation 1 is a polynomial function while equation 2 is a quadratic function. To factorize a polynomial function, we usually start with a trial and error, but the value we obtain must be accurate. Starting with a quadratic function will be more easier and we're going to start with an assumption let's say let y be equal to 3 then let 30 be equal to what is inside this bracket if our answer is accurate then we accept it if our answer is not accurate then we're going to modify this 30 and try again that means y is equal 3 and 30 is equal 3x to the power of 2 plus y let me call this equation 3 i will put y equal to 3 into equation 3 to get x that is 30 is 3x squared plus Instead of y, I will put 3 here. Next, I have 30 here. 3 will move across, becomes minus. And this is 3x squared. This is 27, is 3x squared. Next, I will have 27 divided by 3 is x squared. This is 9 is equal x squared next x is the square root of 9 and x is 3 we obtained that x is 3 and y is also 3 next we're going to check with equation 1 to see if we're going to get 37 if we get 37 we're going to check with equation 3 to see if we are going to get 30. If this is true, we are going to accept our x and y. But if it is not true, we are going to go back to equation 2 and modify our question and compare again. Let's check with equation 1 and 3 first. We are going to check with x is equal 3 and y is also equal 3. From equation 1, we are going to test this is 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 times 3 times 3. Next, this is 27 plus 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. And here, 
we have 54. This is 54, but we're expecting 37. Next, from equation 3, we have 3. Here is 3 squared plus our y is also 3. This is 9 times 3 is 27 plus 3. Here, we got 30. Though, we got 30 here, but here, we got 54. That means the values of our x and y are wrong. Next, we're going to go back to equation 2. We're going to take this equation 2 and modify this 30 and compare again. That is, here, we're going to have this is 15 times 2. Multiply is the square root of y. This is 3x squared plus y. Next, I will leave 15 here. This is the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Here is the square root of y, 3x squared plus y. According to the law of sod, this becomes 15 multiplied by the square root of 12. Here I have the square root of y, 3x squared plus y. The new modification gave us equation 4. Equation 3 actually failed and gave us a wrong answer. Next, we make a new assumption that let y be equal to 12 and 15 will be equal to 3x squared plus y. And we are going to call this equation 5. Next, we are going to find x from this equation 5. And we are going to have that 15 is 3x squared plus y y here is 12. next we're going to have 15 minus 12 is 3x squared here is 3 is 3x squared and we have 3 divided by 3 is x squared x squared is 1 and x is the square root of 1 and our x is 1. we now have x is 1 when y is 12. Now that we got our x and y, next we are going to test this result in equation 1 and equation 5, not 3. We are going to check for accuracy in equation 1 and 5. From equation 1, we are going to have 1 to the power of 3 plus 3 multiply by 1, multiply by 12. y is 12. And here, we are going to have 1 plus 3 times 1 is 3, times 12 is 36. We have 37. Here, our equation 1 gave us 37, which is true. Next, from equation 5, we have 3 multiply by this is 1 squared plus 12 and here we have 3 plus 12 which is 15 here we got 15 which is true next we're going to go back to the beginning of the question which is this and we're going to go to locate our final answer here which will become 1 plus the square root of 12. But we can simplify the square root of 12 further because the square root of 12 can give us 2 in 12 is 6. 2 in 6 is 3. 3 in 3 is 1. Next, we are going to pair. This 2 is 3. But 3 got no pair. We're going to put it inside a square root. The square root of 12 is 2 root 3. Next, we're going to transfer this back to the given question. And here is 1 plus 2 root 3. And this becomes my final answer. Let's recap on what we have done. We have this question find 
the cube root of this quadratic sod. In the first step, we wrote out the question and we took the cube root according to the question. The next step is we represented our final answer. Next, we removed the cube root and here becomes to the power of 3. Next, we opened this bracket three times and we simplified further. We simplified this and we obtained this as our answer. Next, we took this final result for this and we transferred it here. Next, we compared both sides of the equation and in the first comparison, we called it equation 1. The second comparison, we called it equation 2. Next, we made an assumption that let y be equal to 3. This is a polynomial function and this is a quadratic function. After this assumption, we took y equal to 3 and put in the third equation. This third equation is from equation 2 because if this is equal to this, then this will be equal to this. And when we solve, we got that x is equal to 3. Next, we need to check whether if this and this are true. And to complete this check, we substituted x and y into equation 1 and equation 3. We substituted to check if we are going to get 37 in equation 1 and 30 in equation 3. But when we checked, we got 54, which is not equal to 37. And in equation 3, we got 30, which is true. However, this is wrong. Because one of them failed, we assume that both failed. Next, we modified, we split this 30 into 2. Next, this 2 can be written as the square root of 4. And according to the law of sword, 4 will multiply by 3. We are going to get 12. Next, we are going to make a new assumption that let y be equal to 12. Then, 15 will be equal to 3x squared plus y. And we'll call this equation 5. To find the new value of x, we'll now put y equal to 12 into equation 5. And when we did, we got that x is 1. Next, we need to check again. To check for the accuracy, we use equation 1 and equation 5 because equation 3 was modified and when we checked we got 37 and we got 15 which is in equation 5 and this is true next now that we have gotten the true answer for x and y we now came back to the beginning of the question and we put the value of our x and the value of our y which becomes our final answer at times you'll be lucky if your first assumption becomes true then you won't go through the process of modifying equation 2 i hope this was helpful